Earth to be spherical in form but could also approximate, with amazing accuracy, its actual size and distance from both the Sun and the Moon. Aristarchus of Samos, another great Greek astronomer and mathematician, who lived about 250 BC, established by philosophical deduction and a few simple scientific instruments that the Earth revolved around the Sun. While Copernicus actually believed himself to be the discoverer of this fact, he but restated the findings advanced by Aristarchus 1700 years earlier. Continued. The Table of the Ten Numbers The following outline of the Pythagorean numbers is a paraphrase of the writings of Nicomachus, Theon of Smyrna, Proclus, Porphyry, Plutarch, Clement of Alexandria, Aristotle, and other early authorities. Monad, 1, is so called because it remains always in the same condition, that is, separate from multitude. Its attributes are as follows it is called mind, because the mind is stable and has preeminence. Hermaphrodism, because it is both male and female. Odd and even, for being added to the even it makes odd, and to the odd, even. God, because it is the beginning and end of all, but itself is neither beginning nor end. Good, for such is the nature of God. The receptacle of matter, because it produces the duad, which is essentially material. By the Pythagoreans monad was called chaos, obscurity, chasm, tartarus, styx, abyss, lethe, etlas, axis, morpho a name for Venus, and tower or throne of Jupiter, because of the great power which abides in the center of the universe and controls the circular motion of the planars about itself. Monad is also called germinal reason, because it is the origin of all the thoughts in the universe. Other names given to it were Apollo, because of its relation to the sun. Prometheus, because he brought man light. Pyralius, one who exists in fire. Geniture, because without it no number can exist. Substance, because substance is primary. Cause of truth. And constitution of symphony all these because it is the primordial one. Between greater and lesser the monad is equal. Between intention and remission it is middle. In multitude it is mean. And in time it is now, because pages 72 eternity knows neither past nor future. It is called Jupiter, because he is father and head of the gods. Vesta, the fire of the home, because it is located in the midst of the universe and remains there inclining to no side as a dot in a circle. Form, because it circumscribes, comprehends, and terminates. Love, concord, and piety, because it is indivisible. Other symbolic names for the monad are ship, chariot, Proteus a god capable of changing his form, Memosine, and Polyonymus having many names. The following symbolic names were given to the duad, too, because it has been divided, and is two rather than one. And when there are two, each is opposed to the other genius, evil, darkness, inequality, instability, movability, boldness, fortitude, contention, matter, dissimilarity, partition between multitude and monad, defect, shapelessness, indefiniteness, indeterminateness, harmony, tolerance, root, feet of fountain abounding idea, top, fiends, opinion, fallacy, alterity, diffidence, impulse, death, motion, generation, mutation, division, longitude, augmentation, composition, communion, misfortune, sustentation, imposition, marriage, soul, and science. In his book, Numbers, W. N. Westcott says of the duet it was called audacity, from its being the earliest number to separate itself from the Divine One. From the Adidum of God nourished silence, as the Chaldean oracles say. As the monad is the father, so the duet is the mother. Therefore, the duet has certain points in common with the goddesses Isis, Rigel's mother, Phrygia, Lydia, Dynamine Sibyl, and Ceres. Arata one of the muses. Diana, because the moon is forked. Dictana, Venus, Dion, Cytherea. Juno, because she is both wife and sister of Jupiter. And Maya, the mother of Mercury. While the monad is the symbol of wisdom, the duad is the symbol of ignorance, for in it exists the sense of separateness, which sense is the beginning of ignorance. The duad, however, is also the mother of wisdom, for ignorance out of the nature of itself, invariably gives birth to wisdom. The Pythagoreans revered the monad but despised the duad, 
because it was the symbol of polarity. By the power of the Duat the deep was created in contradistinction to the heavens. The deep mirrored the heavens and became the symbol of illusion, for the below was merely a reflection of the above. The below was called Maya, the illusion, the sea, the great void, and to symbolize it the Magia Persia carried mirrors. From the Duad arose disputes and contentions, until by bringing the monad between the Duad, equilibrium was re-established by the Saviour God, who took upon himself the form of a number and was crucified between two thieves for the sins of men. The triad, three, is the first number actually odd monad not always being considered a number. It is the first equilibrium of unities. Therefore, Pythagoras said that Apollo gave oracles from a tripod, and advised offer of libation three times. The key words to the qualities of the triad are friendship, peace, justice, prudence, piety, temperance, and virtue. The following deities partake of the principles of the triad Saturn ruler of time, Latona, Cornucopia and the Great Serpent, Thetis, Hecate, Polyhymnia Muse, Pluto, Triton, President of the Sea, Tritogenia, Oshilus, and the Faces, Furies, and graces. This number is called wisdom, because men organize the present, foresee the future, and benefit by the experiences of the fast. It is cause of wisdom and understanding. The triad is the number of knowledge, music, geometry, and astronomy, and the science of the celestials and terrestrials. Pythagoras taught that the cube of this number had the power of the lunar circle. The sacredness of the triad and its symbol, the triangle, is derived from the fact that it is made up of the monad and the duad. The monad is the symbol of the Divine Father and the duad of the Great Mother. The triad being made of these two is therefore androgynous and is symbolic of the fact that God gave birth to his worlds out of himself, who in his creative aspect is always symbolized by the triangle. The monad passing into the duad was thus capable of becoming the parent of progeny, for the duad was the womb of Maru within which the world was incubated and within which it still exists in embryo. The tetrad, four, was esteemed by the Pythagoreans as the primogenial number, the root of all things, the fountain of nature and the most perfect number. All tetrads are intellectual. They have an emergent order and encircle the world as the empyrean passes through it. Why the Pythagoreans express God as a tetrad is explained in a sacred discourse ascribed to Pythagoras wherein God is called the number of numbers. This is because the decad, or ten, is composed of one, two, three, and four. The number four is symbolic of God because it is symbolic of the first four numbers. Moreover, the tetrad is the center of the week, being halfway between one and seven. The tetrad is also the first geometric solid. Pythagoras maintained that the soul of man consists of a tetrad, the four powers of the soul being mind, science, opinion, and sense. The tetrad connects all beings, elements, numbers, and seasons. Nor can anything be named which does not depend upon the tetractes. It is the cause and maker of all things, the intelligible God, author of celestial and sensible good. Plutarch interprets this tetractes, which he said was also called the world, to be thirty-six, consisting of the first four odd numbers added to the first four even numbers, thus when plus three plus five plus seven equals sixteen two plus four plus six plus eight equal twenty thirty six keywords given to the tetrad are impetuosity, strength, virility, to mothered, and the key keeper of nature, because the universal constitution cannot be without it. It is also called harmony and the first profundity. The following deities partook of the nature of the tetrad Hercules, Mercury, Vulcan, Bacchus, and Urania one of the Muses. The triad represents the primary colors and the major planets, while the tetrad represents the secondary colors and the minor planets. From the first triangle come forth the seven spirits, symbolized by a triangle and a square. These together form the Masonic apron. The pentad, five, is the union of an odd and an even number three and two. Among the Greeks, the pentagram was a sacred symbol of light, health and vitality. It also symbolized the fifth element, ether, because it is free from the disturbances of the four lower elements. It is called equilibrium, because it divides the perfect number ten into two equal parts. The pentad is symbolic of nature, for, when multiplied by itself it returns into itself, just as grains of wheat, 
starting in the form of seed, pass through nature's processes and reproduce the seed of the wheat 